Okay, take two. I have, I did this entire video and then realized my microphone was off. Uh, it's on now. At least I hope it is. So, what we're going to do uh, right now is learn about wavelengths, frequency, speed of light, um, energy, things like that. Uh, I had a few distance learning students who... Uh, we're having a bit of trouble with this, so I'm going to make a video to kind of go go through some things. So, first off, light and all energy, or all uh, like light, X-rays, UV light, infrared uh, light, uh, radio waves, microwaves, all of those things are uh, can be described as these waves. Okay, this energy that oscillates up and down. Now, if we want to describe these guys, we can describe them in a few ways. One is the distance from one point of the wave, follow it until it gets to the same place, to the other side. And this is the length of the wave, and we call it the wavelength, because scientists are the best at naming things. So this is the wavelength. And anytime you're talking about a wavelength, we're gonna be using a length to describe this, to measure this. So we're gonna be using meters for this. Uh, the other way we can describe it is something called the frequency. Now, what is a frequency? So imagine you have one spot here and this wave is moving. The frequency is how many times does this wave pass through this spot, a full wave, a full oscillation, pass through this spot. Um, and uh, so that is going to be like oscillations per second or just per second. So per second, like if I said miles per hour, per hour means hours are on bottom. So per second means seconds are going to be on bottom. So if we have meters, meters are on top, and seconds on bottom, if we multiply these guys together, what do we get? Well, meters on top, seconds on bottom, meters per second. So meters per second is a speed, just like miles per hour right? You can convert miles to meters and you convert hours to seconds. So it's a speed. Okay. And we're going to be talking about energy waves like this. Uh, and light is a big one. And so what the speed is, is actually just the speed of light. And there you go. Speed of light's fun because it's a constant. Uh, it doesn't change. The It's always going to be 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second okay so we're going to be using this as a conversion just like you would say like 12 inches over one foot that you can say it's 3.0 times the eighth meters per second per one second so we're going to be using this as a conversion and this is going to help us get from frequency to wavelength or from wavelength to frequency so uh, a couple of things. I like using that dimensional analysis method. Uh, it makes this super easy. You, If you follow the method, you won't mix up if this is on top, if you divide by this or multiply by it. It, it does all the work for you. You just have to make sure that you're following the method correctly. So let's go through... Um, and do some of these problems. If you don't like using dimensional analysis, then here are the equations for you to just memorize. Um, we're gonna be doing quite a bit of math and you can either memorize a bunch of uh, formulas like this, or you can just remember one method. I prefer to remember one method, but if that's not your bag and you enjoy memorizing formulas, there they are. So let's go through. I'm going to do a few, um, uh, a few practice problems. Uh, I think I'm going to do four today. And then uh, 
then wrap up for this video. So first one here, violet light has a wavelength of 4.10 times 10 to the negative 12th meters. So now we have our wavelength. And the question is asking for the frequency, okay? Uh, a quick aside, sometimes they're gonna tell you things like 410 nanometers, okay? Uh, if you can just remember that nano is negative nine. So what do I mean by that? If you wanna convert this to meters, this nanometers to just meters, what you can do is just take your 410, replace this nano with times 10 to the negative nine meters. So if you do that, you can do a, a quick conversion without having to, to go through and uh, do any real calculations. You don't need, even need a calculator. So that's gonna be one quick conversion. Uh, here, you don't need to do it because it's already in meters. So the method, let's start with a method. Step one, what are we after? What is the, the question asking for? It is asking for frequency. Frequency is going to be in, like I said, one over seconds. Now, if you see here, you see this is, says frequency is hertz. Um, her, uh, frequency can, uh, uh, can be called hertz. Another way of saying hertz is one over seconds. Or you might also see seconds to the negative first. Now, if you are uh, if you were paying attention in math, you know that anything to the negative first power is just this on the bottom, right? You take the reciprocal of this. So these two are the same and Hertz basically just means this as well. So there's that. Erase this, erase, erase, done. So we're wanting to get to frequency. So one over seconds. We're wanting to match whatever we put over here to no units on top and seconds on bottom. So what, what do we have uh, for this problem? We have our wavelength that's in meters, but we also are gonna be using that speed of light, okay? So now we identified our two puzzle pieces that we can use and arrange here to get to seconds on bottom. So the next step in the process is to look here at our end units that we want to get to. We have seconds on bottom. Which one of these guys has seconds? Uh, speed of light. So we start with that. Put seconds on bottom, that way these guys can match. But it's not just seconds on bottom, is it? This is also has meters, okay? And so we write down that number. 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Okay, now we don't want meters in our final answer. So we have to cancel it out. So we need to put meters on bottom. That way these two units can cancel out. The other thing we have is this meters here. So we're gonna take it and place it on bottom. That way the meters cancel out. 10 to the negative 12th. Meters cancel out. And now we have it set up. We can do a quick self check to make sure that um, we have set this up correct. That way we know that we're actually gonna be taking this 3.0 times 10 to the eighth and dividing it by 4.10 uh, by looking at units. So on this side of the equation, we have seconds on bottom, no other units. The meters have been canceled. And on the, our answer side, what we wanna get to, no units on top, seconds on bottom. We did it. We know that we have this set up correctly. So now we can just go through and calculate this. So we start here, 3.0 to the eighth. We're gonna divide by 4.10 e to the negative, uh, negative 12th. There we go. And enter, here's our answer. Uh, sig fig wise, we have three sig figs, so we're going to be using three sig figs here. 7.31 times 10 to the negative 19, 7.31 times 10 to the negative, or 10 to the 19th, yeah, positive 19. 
and it's in Hertz. Remember, Hertz is just another way of saying per second. So there we go. That is how you can convert wavelength to frequency. Let's do it backwards. So we're gonna do, now we're gonna find wavelength from a given frequency. Same idea, same process. So where are we going to? We wanna to get to meters on top. Enter, uh, there's the equal sign. And the things we're gonna be using is the Hertz. Remember the Hertz is actually the number over seconds and your speed of light. Which one of these guys has our end unit in it? Eh, speed of light. So 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters over seconds. And now we need to get rid of the seconds. We're not getting rid of the meters like last time because we wanna have meters. We have to get rid of these seconds. So that means seconds needs to be on top to cancel. So that means we're gonna have to take this guy and flip it. So now uh, seconds are on top and the number is on bottom times 10 to the 14th. Okay, uh, we can double check ourselves. Seconds are canceling, no units on bottom because the seconds have been canceled. If meters on top, our answer needs to have meters on top with nothing on bottom, we did it. Uh, now we can go through and plug and chug 3.0, e to the eighth divided by 6.01 e to the 14th enter <clears throat> again three sig figs down here so we're going to be using three sig figs here 4.99 times 10 to the negative seventh 4.99 times 10 to the negative seventh there we go so there's that uh, if anyone's wondering where I'm getting these, I'm literally just Googling wavelength frequency worksheet and it will, Google will give you dozens of these worksheets uh, and usually the key as well. So you have the answers so you can double check to make sure that you're doing the work correctly. Okay, <clears throat> next thing. Next thing is uh, each of those wavelengths has an energy associated with it. Uh, think about it. The, your microwave has energy, right? Those microwaves have energy. Light has energy. Uh, you know UV rays has, has energy because if you stay outside in the sun too long, your skin burns. Uh, X-rays have even more energy because if you get an X-ray, uh, the doctor puts a lead vest over you and uh, runs out of the room before he starts up the X-ray. So those have a lot of energy and we can calculate how much of that energy is. So energy is, the units for energy is joules. This is not the, the, the vape. Uh, it is just a unit of energy, similar to calories, but um, I think there's about four joules per calorie. So there's that. Joules is what we're gonna be using in chemistry. Uh, and the way we can convert frequency into energy is this number here, Planck's constant. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds, which means it's this number with nothing on bottom or over one, if you wanna think about it that way. Uh, if you're, again, if you're a formula person, here's the formula for you. Um, H is Planck's constant, V is the uh, frequency, J energy uh, here. So you can plug in values here and use algebra to, to rearrange this if you like. Um, I much prefer just using the method. Okay, so let's go through and I'm gonna do two of these, one using frequency and one going from wavelength all the way to energy. It's a two-step process there. Uh, so let's start right off with 10. Calculate the energy, ah, we know where we're after now, energy, of a photon of radiation with a frequency of 8.5 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Remember, hertz is just another way of saying seconds are on bottom. So um, we are looking for energy. The thing we are after is joules. Joules is gonna be on top. Now. Um, 
the things that we have are Planck's constant and the frequency here, okay? Next step, we have joules on top. So which one of these guys have joules? Ah, Planck's constant has joules. And since these guys are both on top, we don't need to flip it. We want joules on top for these guys to balance. So joules times seconds, and it's 6.626 uh, times 10 to the negative 34th. Okay, now I need to get rid of the seconds. Okay, if I get rid of the seconds, it means seconds needs to be on bottom. This has seconds, and it's already on bottom, so I don't even need to flip it. This number is going to stay on top. 8.5 times 10 to the 14th. Seconds cancel. Let's check it. Check ourselves. Joules on top, nothing on bottom. Seconds have canceled, so that means joules on top, and nothing's on bottom. So we set this up correctly. Let's calculate it. So 6.626 e to the negative 34th. And we're going to multiply this because it's on top. Uh, 8.5, whoop, 8.5 uh, e to the 14th. Enter. And this is our thing. We have two sig figs here. So we're going to have two sig figs, 5.7 times 10 to the negative 19th. And if we check the answer, 5.63 times 10 to the negative 19th. N no, this, we shouldn't have, we should have two sig figs here. Uh, I don't know who put together this particular worksheet. Like I said, I just pulled it off Google. Uh, but whoever it is, I'm going to give them a minus one for sig figs because that's a, that's a no-no. Watch your sig figs. All right, so that's how you would go through and just go from frequency to joules, but we can take it even a step further. We can go wavelength all the way to joules. Let's take a look at number 12. So calculate the energy. Again, we're looking at joules, okay? of energy with a photon of radiation with a wavelength of 6.4 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. All right, so we're definitely gonna need Planck's constant, but we're also gonna need the speed of light. So I'm gonna write that boy back, uh, meters per second. So 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Okay, so we're gonna need this guy, this guy, and the wavelength. So instead of two uh, steps, we're gonna be using three, uh, but it's not that much more complicated. So joules, we need joules on top. Which one of these guys have joules? Planck's constant has joules and it's already on top. So we can just write that down. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds, okay? Now, same thing, we need to get rid of seconds. So which one of these guys has seconds? Hey, speed of light has seconds. Seconds are on bottom, meters on top. Seconds cancel. Uh, and the number is gonna stay on top with the meters. So 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters. All right, now, if we stopped right here, the units on top would be joule meters and nothing on bottom. We know we're not done yet because our answer just needs to have joules. We need to get rid of the meters. So we need to put meters on bottom and we actually have the wavelength in meters right here. So this is, means uh, we need to put it on bottom so we just kind of flip this. Remember everything is, the same, is itself over one, right? If I said 12, 12 over one, is 12. So we flip this, have a one on top, 6.4 times 10 to the negative seventh. Meters cancel, we can self check. Uh, now we have just joules on top, nothing on bottom, joules on top, nothing on bottom. We set it up cor completely or correctly and let's go. So 6.626 e to the negative 34th. We're gonna multiply by 3.0 e to the eighth, 
and then we're going to divide by 6.4 uh, e to the negative seventh. Enter. Uh, we have two sig figs here. So this is going to be in two sig. 3.1 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And sure enough, 3.1 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So uh, that's how we go about doing these. Uh, hopefully this helps uh, with your assignment. Um, please remember that when it comes to assignments, I understand that distance learning can be rough. Um, I'm, I've pretty much waived all my late penalties for this year because of everything that's happening. So don't feel like you need uh, a, a huge amount of pressure to, uh, to get this stuff done. Um, if this is still confusing to you, then you can, you know, wait until you get back and we can, we can work on it some. Um, but hopefully this video did help you. Um, make sure that if you have any more questions, send me an email and I'll try to get back to you um, as soon as I can. All right. You guys have a good night. Have a good one.